Welcome back. Let's stay in West Africa now, where the Liberian Electoral Commission has scheduled a presidential election runoff for November 14, after results showed the two frontrunners, President George Oponwea and opposition leader Joseph Boakai, had failed to secure the majority of votes. The runoff poll is between the Coalition of Democratic Change, CDC, led by George Weir, and the Unity Party, led by Joseph Inuma Boakai. The commission's spokesperson, or chairperson rather, uh, Davidetta Lansana, said there was a record turnout of 78.86% of about 2.4 million registered voters. Well, joining us live from the Liberian capital, Monrovia, is Samuel James Pato. He's a national program manager, Federation of Liberian Youth, and he's a coordinator of the Youth Election Situation Room. Good to have you back, Samuel. And I can imagine it's been quite a hectic uh, couple of weeks for you. Um, but let's uh, go straight to look at the um, situation on the ground in Liberia. For emphasis sake, can you uh, please give us a rundown of how the country's presidential election is heading for a runoff? How did we get to this point? Well, um, after um, weeks, um, months and weeks of campaign, um, we had elections uh, on, in October, and um, unfortunately, the both candidates did not meet the threshold required by the Constitution um, to clinch a first-round victory. So um, we're headed for a runoff that um, is being in contention as per the date, because the National Elections Commission announced that um, it's supposed to be on the 14th of November, 2023, but as per the constitutional prescription, um, it should be held on November the 7th. So um, that is a contention that is currently amongst um, um, major political pundits in the country. And um, right now, there are a lot of conversations between um, other political party leaders and um, the two um, political parties that are headed to the runoff. Um, just yesterday and earlier this week, we've seen several meetings with you know opposition leaders and the ruling coalition the production as well as opposition leaders and um the major opposition um unity party that has headed for the runoff so it's been an interesting set of um you know days you know and um the two parties are in high gear and have already begun campaign as campaigns have already been declared open by the national elections commission and so um over the next few days we intend to see um political candidates who contested in the representatives and senate seats challenge the different results as well as um you know political parties you know giving endorsements you know to those who are headed for the runoff so um right now the country is pretty is excitingly very political we had a record turnout um in the first round over 78 percent of the total um, registered voters majority of that number comprised young persons and young people but because um the first round was characterized by a lot of voters trucking um we I have very little doubt that we'll see the same level of turnout, you know, for the runoff elections as that has been the case in Liberia over the years. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, uh, we will certainly be keeping the tops on that and having you again uh, on our bulletins. Thank you very much, Samuel. Uh, James Pato, National Program Manager, Federation of Liberian Youth.